everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan Dang and I'm a type 1 diabetic. One of the first videos I made on this channel was day in the life of a type 1 diabetic so I thought I'd do an updated video of day in the week in the life of a type 1 diabetic. So I'll bring you guys along with me kind of show you what role diabetes plays in my life and all that fun stuff. So today is Tuesday March 26th and it's 420 right now and I'm on my way to a dentist appointment. Every time before I start driving, I don't test my blood sugar, but I always check Dexcom to see what my blood sugar is. Since I'm going to a doctor's appointment right now, and I'm going to be with them for about an hour or so, and it's 156 going diagonally down, I'm just going to put my pump on to spend instead of eating anything because I have some stuff on board, some units on board. And I just don't want it to go low while I'm at the doctor's. So whenever I'm going on just a small trip to the store or to the doctor's or, you know, something that will only take an hour or two, I always just bring a thing of tablets, nothing excessive because chances are I won't need it. And these are just really easy to use and bring with me. But if I'm going to a friend's house or somewhere for, somewhere for a long time, then I bring bigger snacks like fruit snacks or juices that I'll actually enjoy and that chances are I'll need them more likely if that makes any sense. So we're just going to drive to the dentist's office right now. It takes literally five minutes at most. It's really close to my house. When driving, the most important thing to focus on is your safety. So this could mean not going on your phone, not texting, not messing around with the radio during traffic, a variety of things. And that can be tough sometimes, but it makes it even more difficult if you're a diabetic because you have to focus on bolusing yourself, eating, um, managing your blood sugars while you're driving, and all that stuff. And it can be a lot of work to have to pull over every single time you need to do something like that while you're driving. So some things that I do at home before I drive to make sure that I can manage my diabetes while driving is to first have Dexcom on my phone always. And I usually prop my phone up somewhere like right here with the Dexcom screen on while I'm driving. So that way I can just have it on at all times and see it right there while I'm driving and I don't have to fuss around with anything while I'm on the road and actually actively driving. Another thing I do or have done is practiced bolusing myself without looking. So I do this at home before I drive to make sure I'm familiar with all the buttons, know how many times to press to get the insulin, um, just feel comfortable with it so that when I'm driving and need to correct, I can just do that without having to actually look at my pump and actually focus on the road. So I wouldn't suggest just diving in and doing that by yourself, but if you're wanting to practice it at home first and then do it on the road, then that might be a tip. Another thing is to bring snacks that are easy to eat. So like I said, the tablets are really easy. Juice can be, you know, not anything really fussy like sandwiches can sometimes be a little difficult to eat and you never know if it will bring your blood sugar up the way you want so have things that you know are definitely going to help your blood sugar and are easy to eat just finished my dentist appointment and we're trying a new dentist place so that was a new hygienist and that was literally the worst appointment worst hygienist I've ever gotten she just was not gentle at all she did not care that she was killing my teeth she was scraping I know you had to scrape and all that but she was full-on just like scraping at my gum hey guys so today is Tuesday the 27th and it's six o'clock right now at night I've just been home hanging out with my brother and my mom and my dad and not doing that much I'm actually a senior this year in high school and what they say is true, senioritis is real. <laughs> so anyway, I finally finished making this in ceramics. I made this man, which is supposed to be a Greek man. I made these two little bowls a while ago. Right now I'm getting ready to go take a shower and as a diabetic when you shower and if you have a pump site in you have to put these little caps in. I'm gonna be honest I have not been using these caps for a while. I was really really good at using them when I was little 
but kind of once I entered high school I don't know what happened but I kind of just stopped using it and for the past year I literally have not used it at all when I've been showering but I'm going to try to start using it again so if you're a diabetic try to use your caps and if you're not diabetic these caps just know it's another big responsibility you have to have as a diabetic and I have not been good at it but I'm gonna go shower now and that's what's going on now okay so I'm back and I'm actually not gonna go shower because I felt a little low so I checked what my blood sugar was on Dexcom and I'm 70 going diagonally down so I can't shower right now because it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes for showering and changing and all that and my blood sugar would just go too low so I'm gonna go eat first before I go shower and this is just one of the struggles you have to deal with as a diabetic. It is Thursday the 28th and I just got home from school a little while ago and yeah right now I'm gonna about to go eat lunch so as a diabetic before I eat lunch I always have to make sure my blood sugar is good so checking Dexcom it says 131 so now what I usually do is I bolus 50 grams or five units or so and then while I make my food that time then it's going in so as diabetics we have to prepare so I usually bolus before I eat instead of when I eat so then my blood sugar is good throughout the entire eating process when I was younger and before I had Dexcom I was very exact with what I bolus and was very careful but with a continuous glucose monitor you can just kind of bolus as you go if that makes sense which makes it so much easier and my blood sugars have been so much better since I got the Dexcom four years ago and it's just a lifesaver. It's now 2.39 and I'm on my way back to school for track practice today. I'm in the car right now, it's 2.44 and I'm driving to practice. Another thing that I have to do as a diabetic is watch for my blood sugar when I go on to runs. Before track practice, I always have to make sure my blood sugar is good, which means a variety of things. I don't want my blood sugar going down when I start practice. So even if it's 200, which is pretty high, I don't want it to be going down because that means that I don't know where it's going to be going in half an hour. I want it to be at a steady number that I know what it's going to be while I practice. Another thing is that I never want stuff on board because the same kind of issue, you don't know where your blood sugar is headed when stuff is on board. When I go running, I usually like to have my blood sugar around the 180s to 200s and either flat or going diagonally up, but only with a little bit left on board. Wait, I think I was getting a little technical with my explanation. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that as a diabetic, I have to make sure my blood sugars are in a good range before I start exercising, such as in track and cross country and running of that kind. Hey guys, today is Friday the 29th, which I think might be the last day in this whole week in my life. I was just gonna do a school week but I started on a Tuesday. But it is 7.16 in the morning right now and I'm getting ready to go to school. It's now the afternoon and I got home from school about an hour, an hour and a half ago and I ate lunch and did all that fun diabetic bolusing. I was gonna continue to try to make more of this video but I don't think I have that much more to offer and I don't want to make this video really long and draggy so I think I'm gonna end this week of my life here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any comments or questions or concerns things of your own please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to them. Thanks for watching!